Hey everyone, I've got a beautiful project to work on today. I'm really excited about this one. It's a beautiful serving tray. Amazing thing about this one, it's, it's got this natural hole which we're gonna fill with layers and layers of crystal clear resin. It's going to look beautiful when it's done. So because this is raw wood, uh, wood is so porous, it tends to really, really soak up the resin. So what we're gonna do is put a really thin um, pre-coat of resin with a gloved hand, and when that dries, then we're gonna be able to put our final coat on. It's gonna look amazing. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is mix up our resin. And because I'm using a gloved hand uh, for this pre-cut, we don't need a huge amount. So I'm just using these little plastic glasses here and I'm gonna mix it up in this glass with a popsicle stick. Resin here. Okay, now our hardener. So we've got level amounts here. All right, so now I've got my plastic cup. I'm gonna pour both these guys in here. We gotta stir for three minutes, making sure that we scrape the bottoms and sides as always. We don't want any unmixed resin. So you might notice uh, on my surface here, I've got a shower curtain. We use tablecloths or shower curtains, they work equally well. Uh, the great thing about it, they are not expensive, so you know you can use them a few times and, and dispose of them if necessary. But the great thing about it is when the resin drips um, and cures, you can just peel it right off. Like how easy is that? It's not gonna stick to anything. So it's a really, really handy thing to have on your work surface. When your hand starts cramping, then you know you've mixed enough. Good. So we have our wood here, and I just wanted to show you, we've got the tray on these little painter's um, supports here, and we've also got some shims. These are super handy to keep, and what we use them for is just adjusting. You can put them in on each corner and just adjust the height as you need to, according to your level. So what I'm actually gonna do is flip it over, and I'm gonna start with the back. And the reason I'm gonna do that is I'll end with the top of the tray, and then any drips are gonna drip below. Okay, so we'll just flip it over here and with a gloved hand. This is the fun part. And like I said, this raw wood is just gonna soak up this resin. So I'm gonna make sure I do the, uh, the sides here as well. And the reason for that, because wood is so porous, it's really affected by um, humidity and moisture. Um, so if this tray happened to get wet and the sides weren't sealed, it would absorb the moisture. You'd get expansion and contraction. You might get cracking. Uh, even warping possibly. So we're just going to seal it and make sure it's completely water and airtight. Look at how beautiful and rich the wood looks when you put the resin on. It just glows. It's so beautiful. And then uh, my finger's too big to fit right inside these crevices, so I'm going to use this brush here just to make sure it is completely sealed. Okay, now we're ready to flip. So same thing on this side. Just make sure this is totally covered here. Okay, so I think I've got every little crevice here with the brush. So normally at this point, obviously our next step would be to, um, to torch out bubbles, but I'm not gonna do that because wood is gonna off gas like crazy. So I'm gonna torch this and two minutes later, there's gonna be lots and lots of micro bubbles anyway. At this point, these tiny little micro bubbles don't, don't matter. So don't worry about them right now. We're gonna sand down the whole thing, both sides, but I'll show you that at the next stage. Hey guys. So we have our tray here after the first um, pour. It looks beautiful. So I just wanted to point out a couple of things to you though, so come with me. So you can see here, remember yesterday I mentioned the wood is just gonna soak up the resin like crazy and you can see some dry spots here. Dave had a really good analogy yesterday. He said it's like pouring resin, resin on a dry sponge. You're gonna get spots where it just soaks it up like crazy and a few dry spots too. So I'm gonna give this a, a sanding because there are also those little bubbles where the wood gassed or off gassed yesterday. Uh, and then because I used the gloved hand, the glove just sort of pulled some of the, the loose bits of wood, especially from in here. So there are a couple of spots here where there's shavings and, and wood bits. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna pick these out. Just gonna use a utility knife and pick these out here. Okay. So we're just going to give this a light sand. Seems like kind of counterintuitive to be doing this, you know, like you're ruining it, but it's going to be fine. Okay, so I've sanded down uh, the front. I'm just going to flip it over. And you can see here all the little drips that have formed. So we're just going to sand these down as well. And watch how easily these come out. Okay. 
You know what? This is gonna take a while. I'm just gonna go out and buy a sander. Come on, let's go shopping. We're going to Lowe's. I love hardware stores. It doesn't matter what kind. When I was a kid, my dad used to um, take me to the hardware store, and my favorite thing to do was to go ring all the doorbells. I used to drive everyone crazy. And they would go. They did. At least the one that we went to. Well, they I all don't know worked. If Lowe's has that. I don't know if they do or not. I haven't done it for a long time. Hey. <laughs> this is what I used to do for ages. Oh. No, it's all the same. Ooh. That's like a clock. Oh. oh, 10 different songs. Oh, I'm going to be here a while, yeah. sorry. <laughs> hey. I'm busy. So that's how you do it. <laughs> so there'll be different, different grits? Yeah, so there's 80. Okay, so we're back from our shopping trip. I've got the belt sander, got my safety goggles, and I am going to sand this piece of wood here. Wow, holy. With this process, it seems like when you have like dense stuff in wood, mm -hmm. it's a bit of like, it's like pouring and then sanding, and then that reveals like even this is low. And then you'll pour again, you'll probably do this for this to make it perfect, you might even do this like two more times. Really? Maybe even three more times, yeah. All right, that feels good. So dust it off, take it back downstairs, and we'll continue with our resin. And now I'm ready to do another coat of resin. Uh, I did wipe down all the dust with a damp cloth, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna use this spray here. Just again, to get into all those little crevices. Oh yeah, there's a lot of dust coming off there. Okay, so actually what I'm gonna do is just put a very, very thin coat with a gloved hand um, just on the bottom. I'm gonna let it dry and then tomorrow we'll flip it over and then I'm gonna start my layering. Okay, so I've got some resin mixed up here. And again, I wanna be really, really um, frugal with the resin. This is not gonna be the final coat. So sometimes, um, you know, because wood is not even, it's not always level. Um, you might have to do this resining, sanding, resining, sanding step a couple of times, and that is totally okay and normal. So that first layer that we did yesterday is really gonna help because it's soaked into the wood. So when we put this layer on, um, it's gonna sit on top. We won't have those patches. Okay, so I've got my very, very thin coat of resin on here. We're gonna uh, cover it up, leave it overnight, and we'll continue on starting our layers tomorrow. Here we go. See you tomorrow. Hi there. So we um, are ready to do our next coat of art resin on our wood tray. So what I'm gonna do now is um, I took a piece of acetate here and I cut out a small piece to fit over the hole in the wood. So what I'm gonna do is tape it on uh, to create a base for our first layer. And you can see I also taped around the edges um, here on the underside, so to protect it from any drips when we resin the top side. Okay, so I'm just gonna tape this guy on, and we're gonna flip. I'm just gonna give it a quick spray with the dust spray. Now um, I've got my resin here in its baby bath, so I'm just gonna pull this out again. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit more than a shot glass. Uh, of each one because I'm going to do um, again with a gloved hand. I'm going to cover the top, but I'm also going to need enough for my first base layer. There's one. So in we go. Stirring and stirring and stirring. Three minutes scraping the bottoms and sides. Okay, great. So I've stirred my art resin and I'm ready now to do a very thin coat with my gloved fingers. And it's totally normal if you have to um, sand and resin and sand and resin a few times, especially with a natural um, material like wood. Okay, so now that this is coated in a nice thin layer of art resin, I'm ready to pour my, my base layer in the hole here. So I'm gonna do like a really thin layer, like an eighth of an inch, uh, just because I don't want any bubbles. We've got our acetate below to contain the resin. So just again to err on the side of the caution because the hole actually goes underneath where I can't see. So I'm just um, tilting it a bit just to make sure that the resin is hitting all of those spots there. 
and then it's gonna self-level. And I'm just gonna torch out the bubbles. Okay, so I'm just gonna rest them again on these little um, lifters here. We're gonna leave it for 24 hours, and then we're gonna pour our next coat, and we'll start building up our layers. So we're ready now to start our first um, layer of building up this the resin in the hole here. Yeah, it turned out really well. And now we're just going to pour really thin, a succession of really thin coats, uh, torch the bubbles out, and we're going to do it every two hours just to, to build up the layer of resin um, in the hole here. We're going to end up sanding this entire thing down again um, just to make our resin in the hole flush, to make this nice and flat. So I'm not too worried about the rest of it right now. Pour it in, try not to let it run too much up the sides here. Okay, it's looking good. I'm gonna get my torch here. I'm gonna torch out these bubbles. Okay, so then we're gonna cover this. We're gonna wait two hours, and then we're gonna pour another thin letter, layer, and we're just gonna keep going and going until we're fill the hole. Okay, so we're ready to put our very last coat of resin over the hole in our tray here. Uh, and once this cures tomorrow, we're gonna sand down the, uh, the tray to make it completely level, and then we're gonna put our final coat of resin on. Okay, so here goes the last coat. Okay, perfect, so I'm just gonna torch it one more time to get those bubbles out. Awesome, it looks like glass, beautiful. Okay, so we're just gonna cover this up, and tomorrow we're gonna sand. See you then. Alright, so I'm gonna jump in now and do the next part, which is preparing the surface for our did you see the yellow car and the yellow cup and the yellow glasses and the yellow knife? So here's where we are. We have filled up this hole bit by bit. It looks awesome. Then we did our final top pour just on this area, and we're gonna do one like last sand over the whole thing to make everything totally level. And I'm gonna do the top and the bottom just to make everything perfect. So lots of sanding here. I'm gonna use this belt sander, which makes it so much easier. Then on the bottom, I'm just gonna put just a sealant on it, just a varnish or something. Just, it'll be fine like that, it'll look great. And on the top, we're gonna to do our final perfect pour on the top and then we'll be done. So to start, I'm just gonna take off all of this tape, including right here where we have our piece of acetate, right? So watch how this peels off so nicely, look at that. See? And that's why you put it there. Look how nice that is. Beautiful. So I'm gonna sand the heck out of the top and the bottom so they're perfect. All right, here we go. Are you excited, Jeff? Well, no, oh, it sounds fake because the last <coughs> one's natural now. It's All right, here we go. You excited? <sighs> Just go. All right, here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Now the top, this one will take a bit longer, but we'll get there. Here goes. Awesome, that's it. Perfect. So everything is perfectly flush. Whoa. And that just helps to get the dust off of the uh, sander. Joanne's gonna take over again and do our final, final top coat. Then we'll, so we're gonna have to tape it off again and then we're done. Looks great. So we are ready to put our final coat on this beautiful tray. It's sanded right down to the wood. Okay, so we're gonna put our final coat on. I've got everything I need here. It's already taped on the bottom. Um, I've got my torch, my toothpick, my silicone mat, my spreader, I've got my cover here for when I'm done, so I'm all set to resin. I've mixed um, one part resin, one part hardener, mixed it well for three minutes, stirring the sides and the bottom, and we're ready to pour. So I'm going to start in the middle here, 
So you see how the, where it was sanded, it's all sort of cloudy and scratched, but that is gonna come up clear, clear, clear once this resin's on here and cures. Grab my spreader here and I'm just gonna start pulling it to the edges. Okay, and it's okay if it runs over the side. I've taped it on the bottom, so I'll just run my gloved finger over the sides if we have any resin that spills over. This is gonna look so, so, so pretty. The art resin really, really brings out the beauty of the wood. It just makes it glow. You can see all the grain. Ah, look at the center. It looks so awesome. Run the gloved hand along the edges just to smooth it out. All right, now it's time to torch. Okay, bye-bye bubbles. There they go. So I've got my toothpick handy, so I'm just gonna have a quick look here and see if I've missed any bits or if there's any bits of dust. It looks absolutely beautiful, I'm so excited. So we're gonna cover it up and uh, I'm gonna come back maybe in about 10 minutes and just run my finger along the edges once again because just to help get rid of some of those drips, make life easier tomorrow. Um, and then again tomorrow, once this is cured, we're gonna flip it over and just do a really, really thin coat of resin on the bottom side to finish it off and it's gonna look so beautiful. Okay, so we'll cover it up and we will see you tomorrow. Here we are and we're at the last step now of our serving tray. So this has been curing. And look at how beautiful it is. It looks gorgeous. Really like glass, it's so beautiful. So the last step now, um, you can see it's all kind of scratched on the bottom here from being sanded on the, on the flip side. So we're just gonna turn it over and we're gonna put a final um, rub of resin, not a full coat, we're just gonna rub resin in with uh, gloved hands on the back side. And you can see here, there, like all the drips got caught on this painter's tape, which is awesome. And the sides look fantastic. So I can just pull off the tape and pull off all those drips. Okay, and if you have no nails like me, uh, this is a good time to pull out your X-Acto knife. There we go. Ooh, we'll just lift right up. Perfect. Okay, so we got all the little bits of tape off and now we're ready to put our final coat of resin on. So I've got my resin here all mixed for three minutes. And we just need a little bit because we're going to rub it in. Now, you could also use um, a Verathane to finish this off. You know, something like uh, this kind of thing you can get in any um, hardware store. The thing is that these are really highly, highly toxic. And I don't know about you, but I would way prefer to use the resin that's non-toxic and safe for my health. So that's what I'm going to use. It's up to you. Put some on my glove here and rub it in. Look how rich it makes the wood look. It just is so beautiful. Okay, so this is our last step. I'm gonna cover this up and tomorrow morning we'll see the final, final reveal. Okay, see you then. Hey guys, we're back with our finished piece of wood here and look at how gorgeous it is. If you remember, we filled up this hole with layer upon layer of art resin. Look how beautiful it is. And not only is the wood glowing and it makes the most beautiful serving tray, but in case you're wondering, art resin is absolutely food safe. It's non-toxic and certified by the FDA. There you go, bon appetit.